Hey everyone, welcome back to Metanoia. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for the new uh, subscribers. I, there have been uh, quite a few new subscribers, although I don't know if you're following my monthlies, but in case any of you are, hello, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I don't have today's video prepared. I didn't have the time to to take notes, which is pretty dangerous because I happen to go on tangents and then end up not talking about what I need to be talking about <laughs> and to, you know, stay focused and deliver an actual message to you. So I'm going to do my best and I just really needed to be comfortable today. So I'm sitting in a very comfortable place. The lighting, although it's good enough for you to see me, is kind of weird. It's It probably looks different than it normally does. And that's because it's very, very cloudy. Uh, we've had a lot of rain and snow on the west coast. It's freezing outside, so I also don't really feel like venturing outside and trying to hike somewhere and video from there. So today we're comfortable. It looks I look like ashen, but really I'm not, I swear to God. Maybe I can edit it that somehow where I look kind of more like a person. But anyway, moving forward. Uh, so now, now we're in March and of course, as always, please watch my February forecast video if you happen to miss it. But right now, we are in a place where we are leaving this this conclusion, this nine month that we're in, which is always about endings. We're starting a new beginning, as always, with the one month. And uh, personally, I consider this as one whole, one unit. I think that the transition from the nine into the one is it's it's kind of like one chapter in and of itself because ends are beginnings, beginnings are ends, endings. So two separate months, con I consider it uh, almost like the same chapter though. So just keep that in mind. I believe in last month's video, I talked a lot about uh, our, our faith being challenged, and I don't remember all the details around it, unfortunately, but I do think that what it, what it seems to be hinting towards, well, first of all, a lot of things, a lot is, is happening right now, but I, I want to talk today about uh, the theme of identity. Um, a lot of things to take into consideration as we are entering a new phase, entering a new beginning. This is a relaxed video. Make yourself comfortable, please. Where if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, it's probably cold outside. Uh, just just relax. In fact, af you know, I, I'm still in, in my nine month. As I'm recording this, I just organized a bunch of stuff. I just got off the phone with a friend. Hi, Janice. I know you're watching. <laughs> um, you know, these are times to not necessarily uh, act out of impulse and to, to, to try to just be aware of everything that you're doing and make that intentional, if that makes any sense. I think that this, this entire year, that is good advice, and this entire year, we are trying to figure out what has value, I think. Uh, and that's, and, and this month that we're entering, this March month, I think that a good thing to consider is identity. A silly, uh, probably a silly question to you, but do you know who you are? That is a very big question, but, but do you know who you are? Like right now, you, knew, you know who you are or who you have been up until this point, but that's always going to be uh, changing. That is, that is kind of chaotic. Uh, so there, there will be uh, you, you grounded in, into some core truth or value throughout the whole process, but what you want changes. And we're starting a completely new trajectory as a collective. So I think many of us are having these very messy endings. We're starting something new. Please do not throw everything out the window. Don't throw the baby out with the, with the bathwater, okay? Like the things that we've been working on for the past how many years are relevant and whatever we needed to go through up until this point is what we needed to go through but um oh yeah this is a time where if there is something that is is, is just has not been serving you or something does need to die first of all it has been in february if that's you and uh, we are are supposed to start something something different and 
uh, we need to make space for that and we need to, like I said, consider what we value, what has value, consider who we actually are. This ties in very well with this one seven combination that we have now, this one month, this the seven year when it comes to identity because uh, seven is of, of what you already know is about, okay, uh, so the, the spiritual realm, the non-material realm, our faith, uh, uh, coming to an understanding, wisdom, it's a mental thing, it's, it's trying to you know, figure things out, etc. And and one is independence. It's authenticity. It is your your own individual self. It's independent. You know, it's it's all to do with uh, navigating your own path and and how that looks only for for you and us as a collective. I think are trying to navigate that. And and this month, I think, is extremely important to. To, to have the best start that you can so that we are eventually ready for like a year from now, in, in my opinion. I think a year from now is when a lot of things are going to be happening. As always, you're going to see a lot of people uh, progressing forward in a positive way and we're gonna see more people kind of spiraling downwards and a lot of people messing around in the in-between and it's, this uh, mitosis that I've always talked about, okay, that's still happening. I gotta remind you, I'm sorry that a lot of this content is repetitive, but now um, I think that really the focus becomes something that is new and we cannot really do, like make the most out of it unless like we are completely taking into consideration what exactly it is that we need, what it, exactly it is that we value just with ourselves, just with ourselves, not with anyone else in mind, not with anything else in mind, and then really trying to to make that happen for ourselves. So that's something I want to say. And then this might not be like uh, significant to specifically, you know, this month, but I do think that this is uh, good advice in general. And that is to uh, when when say for example you want you have a goal right you're trying to make something happen or you're struggling with something and the energy just isn't there. Think back to all the times that you gave too much of yourself to your job that it considers you disposable, to a family member, to just people in your life in general, to that relationship, to that situation. It, did, it didn't matter you know what it was take that back. <laughs> uh, just just think about like the energy that you had before that and after and understand like you can take that back. This is about you now. It's kind of a time to be a little bit selfish in this way. Uh, and we will be able to to give that back to either a person or a situation or to whatever, whatever needs our time, energy, and focus, we can give that away again, but but uh, chances are there's a lot that was kind of almost in a, in, a, in a vampire way, whether you were aware of it or not, or whether it was intentional or not, took a lot out of you. It's time to take that back. And I mean, you can look at this from a psychological perspective, like through a therapist perception. You can look at this through the spiritual perspective. You can look at this as a philosophy. But very much, it's like a lot of this is lost along the way. A lot of this is lost along the way in our lives. And we eventually get to a place where we know what we need to do to get where we want to be. And we we know what we have to, we, we know what we need to, in order to perform the task, we know what's going on, but it's just, for whatever reason, we're stuck. For whatever reason, we can't start that new thing. We can't uh, have the new beginning and actually walk our own individual path. And I think that if we uh, perhaps consider, well, where have I given too much of myself to? in the past like nine years, you know, just think about that. Take that back. It's yours, it's it's yours so you can. We're not going to be energy vampires, okay? Where we float around and just take from people a lot. Significant portion of the population 
does that because they can't make their own or they don't have their own resources, whatever. But whatever is yours, take it. Take it back. If it wasn't yours, then you wouldn't have the power to, right? To begin with. So that's my two cents on that. And I think that um, what I just said is not just from the perspective of the seven year, the one month, but but very much considering the long-term view of where we need to be next year. So that's kind of the heavy portion of this this video talking about March, but I also hope that you are able to uh, feel kind of lighter this month. I hope that you're able to in some way uh, be able to, uh, you know, s start something or continue something without feeling so inhibited by the past or you know what you're struggling with this month and and it's going to be tumultuous and we're going to go back into those those spacey spaces in which you know whatever the the, the things that are holding us back but for now it's 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 time to to try to move forward and to try to understand ourselves better in that process and and just do the thing and i i know i'm being very vague i always have to be unfortunately very vague with these videos because i'm not talking to you know a specific person you know it's when i give a reading or when i do my monthlies it's a little bit different because i know exactly what your your numbers are or and hopefully i open a dialogue with you and we talk about where you are in your life and i know what i need to specifically hit on I just kind of hope I just kind of you know turn on the camera and hope for the best. <laughs> I hope that you are able to take what I'm saying and use it, you know, for whatever however you need to use it. And like I said, make time to be comfortable. Make time to be comfortable. I think that uh, you know that's not something that I usually say. I think for the one month because it's usually very action oriented and it's very like you know grab the thing and ride you know like the chariot you know that's kind of like the one energy usually it's sometimes very fiery in that way but i uh, mm, it feels different now i think we really need to a complete upheaval a complete remake of our understanding of like of, of of a lot of a lot uh within ourselves who we are exactly because we don't fully understand ourselves truly like if you think about it it's it's I always say this it's it's hard when you're on the inside looking out which we're all doing all the time we don't fully know ourselves completely we just uh, a lot of us because you're watching this video now are very introspective so you're able to make those kind of careful observations and you're able to be aware of yourself on a, on a deep level but at the end of the day you're still on the inside looking out you don't you, it's possible you don't know your potential you don't know that actually you would be happier with this option instead of that when it's presented to you but you you don't know that because you're kind of just busy doing whatever um this is the month to try to figure that out we're figuring it out this year we're figuring it out this year and right now it's about the self when we move into april it'll be about something else but right now it's just about us our individual paths it's really interesting to see how this would translate to global events. Um, I, I don't know if that'll be active as much until, until you know, later on, perhaps maybe in the eight, nine year, who knows. Uh, but I, I, I want us to get unstuck and I want us to wherever we are, be able to see ourselves with better clarity. And I do think a lot of people right now are experiencing a, a kind of disillusionment, a kind of disillusionment because some people are uh, doing this in ways that are harmful and are just kind of repeating old, ha old patterns that are presented to them because, you know, they haven't learned the first time. And then some people are doing this for the first time and it's kind of overwhelming. And some of us have just been doing this for our whole life, this whole like reworking of ourselves. So we're kind of just used to it now. You see it on, on all levels. But I do think that a lot of 
uh, disillusionment is is happening, you know, whereas it's like, why why did I give so much of myself to that at that job at that time? You know, we might be like thinking even into the distant past or like, why did I think that I had to to like manage this part of my life in that way? You know, th these are the kind of thoughts that we're having now and some of us are really putting our foot down and I think that's really good and I think that we all, all of us here watching this video have a lot more potential than, than we think that we have and it's because we don't fully understand what that potential is, like how that translates to our, our, our immediate environment or how, what that looks like exactly in a practical way. We haven't really figured it out yet. So, <laughs> I hope this video made any sense at all. Uh, it's, it, I, I wish I took notes. I wish I, I took notes, but again, I didn't have time. And, um, you know, I, 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 I'm kind of, uh, this is what this looks like for me, guys. You know, I didn't um, beat myself up over not having notes. So I was like, hmm. This is better than nothing. I've done this before too, you know, because I've had to. And and that's okay. That's okay. Like it's 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 figure outable. If you are finding it hard to make time for yourself these days, uh I say do whatever you can to to change that this month. That is some kind of like practical less vague advice. Just simply make make time for yourself. I think that this this could look like self-care, but taking time to yourself isn't always just making sure that, you know, you are, you know, like you have a nice cup of tea and you are moisturized, <laughs> you know, it's, it's it doesn't always look like that. Sometimes it looks like I need to take an entire weekend just for me to mentally wrap my head around this. That's sometimes how it looks like. Or... Um, I, I am deciding that I'm going to give more time to these people and not so much to that because I need to decide, I need to take a step back and decide how that fits into my life right now. Okay. That, these are some specific examples, but just, uh, you, you know, be, uh, careful and considerate and intentional with this kind of stuff where, you are not just like going through the day and then it's the end of the day and you did not take any time like we always do uh, for that thing that we needed to complete to enhance our lives. I mean to put a foot down and like actually focus on ourselves now is my, is my feeling. And I, I can't tell you what that is for you, but I hope that you're all, you're all okay, you're all moving through the seven year, okay. I'm curious to know how it's going for you. Uh, just to, and and I've, I've said this many times and I've said this uh, not just in my videos, but with people that I, I speak with, that I really don't know many people who are having a, a good time right now. And, and all, basically every single person I know is either struggling with their career, their job, you know, they or they have no money, they have no job, or they are struggling with their relationships, or they are struggling trying to figure out what they want, or the, you know, or, or they're struggling with loss and, and they're grieving death and they're grieving like, the death of something if not a person you know th there's a lot moving and shaking and if you are one of these people you are not alone these are very hard times right now these are very hard times so i want to also acknowledge that and i also want to take just a quick moment to say that i'm so grateful that i have any viewership right now for for these monthlies as few of you are as there are because um you know it's it's been like this for a long time but the algorithms suck. And recently I just realized, scrolling through my phone as I always do, as we always do, and, and you just can't find anything that resonates and you just can't find what you feel like you're looking for online, right? I really do believe that most of this is just because of the algorithm. It's, it's not giving us what it is 
that we actually are are looking for anymore or that we actually need or want anymore it's very very strange i've i'm i'm constantly trying to to find um other people online who do something similar as I do where it's like very low-key and it's it's like not really what they do for a living but it's something that they are passionate about and are trying to you know do something and, and contribute in some way and I'm sure they're out there but I can't find them and I can't find like the any kind of content where it's it's not just like over the top you know don't get me wrong i follow a lot of channels like that and i love channels like that i love content in general like that whether it be youtube or instagram where it's like someone took this incredible amount of time to 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 make this video and edit it and put all this stuff into it um and but then it's just like i I don't need, need necessarily need a cinematic experience. What I need to know is like another human being is navigating their life and it's messy and they're trying and and like, you know, like I, I found a couple of channels like that, but not many. And I, and I didn't, you know, that even those channels, like I only found them because they've made that their their entire um you know career or a piece of their career where they are devoting like 30 hours a week at least probably more to making these beautiful videos and then the algorithm makes it so that i find them uh one tip i do have if you related to anything that i said is that when you are searching filter it by upload date and then you're just getting whatever recently has been uploaded um and but even then it's like maybe the the hashtag is factored into that the hashtag that i want to need maybe not i really don't know it's still giving me this like bogus search and we feel more isolated i think a lot of us feel really lonely right now and we can't find that you know we we look outside and, and, and people in our society is really struggling. We're, we're, our needs are not met. We go online to try to find that, right? And the algorithm is even making that impossible for us to find the, the spaces that we know exist somewhere but can't find, you know? So if you feel this way, you're not alone. I hope you don't though. I hope you're thriving and you're doing great. Um, and just remember that this is a new beginning. Still probably a lot that we need to wrap up. Um, I know that I'm going to spend the rest of this month tr trying to clean stuff up, give things away, do what I have to do to move forward, and uh, understand that it's not as it seems to. I'm on the inside looking out, and we're, we're going we're gonna to move forward carefully. <laughs> We're not going to touch anything. We're going to just, you know, uh, try to try to uh, uh, make sure that we are honoring ourselves in the process, whatever that looks like, and making sure that we are doing things out of a careful intention rather than just letting things happen to us now, as we as we have in the past. And <sighs> I'm going to keep going on tangents, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy something this week as you're watching it, whenever that is, whether it be a cup of tea or a good phone conversation or, you know, you something good happens at work or whatever. Okay, I hope you're doing well. I'll see you all soon. Take care.